Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I always say, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, tonight we've got Lisa Fox Cooper and we've Hi. got the famous James Queen <laughs> from Fusion Furniture. Now, before we can start uh, this Zoom meeting and Facebook Live, I have to inform you that this is being recorded. And if you don't want to be recorded, could you please get off? Great, that's done. So, Fusion Furniture have been a partner with us nearly now five years. And just to give you some statistics of what we've been doing over the last couple of years, it's been absolutely phenomenal amount of people that NPG members that have been using you, James and, and Lisa, is that um, 2018, we did 1.79 million pound with you. Yes. And last year we did 1.88 million. So I know you're very busy and the business is growing. So I look forward to seeing what the figures are this year. And that's the kind of things that we have been doing with yourself, which is phenomenal um, amount of bedrooms for the HMO and the service accommodation. So James, over the last couple of years, how have you found it with LMPG members? Before we talk about product, tell us a little bit about yourself and Fusion and where Fusion are going to be going over the next couple of years because I know there's some exciting stuff happening. Yeah, well, well, well recently, the last couple of years, it's, it's like I said, you know, being an LMPG uh, for the players really give us a massive springboard to, to success. It, it really has, and we, 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 you know, we really appreciate the relationship. And as you know, we're based on a farm. Um, the business started off um, you know, with just a, sort of a, one of the barns in a very small office, and we've, we've seemingly taken over uh, the whole farm. Uh, we've, uh, within the last three years, we've, we've turned what was a, a cow shed into a, a sixth thousand square foot distribution warehouse and um, that is just full of all the types of furniture that you're going to need on a, a week to week basis uh, to be able to do things quickly and it's it's got the stage now where we've got seven sometimes eight jobs a day going out all over the UK and uh, obviously many of those are for LMPG members uh, you know it, could be anywhere from Inverness, we've been to the Isle of Wight, uh, even over to Ireland as well. Um, but we're, we're still working on that uh, on that strategy because it's, it's quite tricky with the water in the way and the, the weight in the vehicles. And um, products, we've, we've had to adapt to certain trends. The, the, the service accommodation sector uh, is, is, is gained popularity and some momentum, um, you know, over the last couple of years especially. And we've had to adapt products to suit that market, you know, such as, you know, zip link beds, uh, offering sofa beds, uh, dressing table stools and mirrors. So we're very good at adapting to market changes. Uh, and we tend to be market leaders in that respect. We'll, we'll notice the trend first, we'll adapt to it, and then the competitors will copy, which I know is meant to be seen as flattering. So uh, we'll, we'll see it as that. And yeah, we like to be seen as market leaders that way and uh, we want to continue to grow with, with new ideas, uh, which leads us on to why uh, Lisa's joined us. One of and, uh, what's coming now? One of the things that we spoke about just before we went live was that, and I, and I hear it when I do presentations around the country, is that um, Fusion Furniture is starting to look the same you know when you have a fusion furniture. Now I tell it as a compliment because IKEA stuff <laughs> looks like IKEA. Yes. And fusion furniture looks like fusion furniture. And Lisa told me, yes, and you take that as a compliment as well, but Lisa come up with some ideas what you're going to be introducing going forward, Lisa. Um, yeah, we've we've kind of been a victim of our own success really because it got to the point where people were saying you could look in a room and say, Oh, that's one of fusions. So we thought, right, we need to sort of address this issue. So we've got um, on top, it, probably sort of around the end of August time, we're launching a new range of um, actual colours. And it won't just be um, 
unicolors we're going to do um new wood grains where you can actually design your own carcass as well so you can have you can decide on the carcass the fronts um the handles all sorts of similar prices to what we'll pay what we're charging now um and on top of that um we are also looking at um, because you can change a room quite easily if we if we stick with a plain colour just by adding new artwork or new accent cushions things like that so they're all things that are in the pipeline that the artwork's almost finished that we're going to be offering our you know our own and um, access accent cushions we have a uh, hundreds of those to to um, bring to the market and um yeah like the the new colors we've got navies teals uh quite a few different grays um uh, which are all on top of you know what we what we currently do so the colors so how many colors can you make the wardrobes etc and the uh, i don't know what's in a the bedroom these days yeah the different shapes of beds yeah yeah oh you smart pants anthony he was just <laughs> trying to do that i thought you'd knock me out <laughs> I, took, I took a punt i took a punt to be honest i, I assume yeah, this is do, <laughs> well these colors these aren't actually colors for the new furniture ranges but these are i mean historically we did for the headboards we do the gray matisse the gray chenille uh, brown chenille grey faux leather, brown faux leather, um, and a navy chenille as well. But um, as people were wanting things to look more and more bespoke or high end, then we've now introduced this whole new range of velvets that we can do um, you know, for headboard styles as well. And the colours that you see at the bottom, they're all um, accent chairs that we can do in any of our accent chairs. So the tub chair, the, the small accent chair, the large one, we can do in all those colours um, to complement the bedrooms. Ah, so this is on top of the different colour wardrobes and, and yeah, beds, etc. Well. Et so yeah. can you do different colours on the beds as well? I'm talking about the bed frame. Are you talking about that as well? Yeah, definitely. So, um, for example, if somebody wanted an, a navy headboard, I mean, uh, up to now, we've only had... For example navy velvet or grey velvet but if people wanted navy at the top and orange around the base we can do any mixture but and, um, and buttons as well yeah and buttons so if you wanted a grey velvet headboard but orange buttons and then orange accent cushions to match we can do that sorry did it and did uh, james didn't interrupt and get his buttons in <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> sad <That's laughs> joke. <laughs> I learned some things in my time, but it's your new nickname, James. Now, when we ring you tomorrow, it'll be his buttons there. <laughs> oh dear me! So, so what kind of you say? Any colour? Yeah. I mean, so any after swatches um, picture that he's just shown you, any colour from there. But also, if you came to me and said. I actually want bottle green and it's not something that we had you know if we can find if we can source a fabric you can have it I mean at Fusion we very rarely say no we'll always try and you know accommodate but I'm talking about the cupboards so for the cupboards there's about um, I think it's is it eight James eight new colors there's uh, there's going to be we've got espresso uh, espresso oak harbour oak uh, these the uh, the sort of like it's like a, a rust color. I've, I've, I've actually got some of the samples here. Sorry, I wasn't able to put them on a the slide. But this is the uh, this is called uh, rusty rust. flow. <laughs> Everyone see that? Okay. Uh, we've got the stone. We've been doing the stone gray for a little while now. Uh, but what I think, which is going to look really smart, is is is, is, is the blue. You, you can see the wood grain on here as well. So if you two tone that with. Yeah, sorry, um, sorry, uh, James, we're not doing HD tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that. See the wood grain if you're lucky. Um, when, when are these going to be available? End of all it, is, it is available, um, elements of it now, especially on the beds and the sofas. We're just, we're just catching up with the bedroom furniture. That's going to be probably about a month away. So just, just to recap, we, we can do different sofas, different beds, the buttons as well 
<laughs> that's not a problem now. Sofas, uh, and may also add, we, we can do bespoke size sofas if you like as well. So you know, we do offer traditional standard sizes, uh, but if you wanted a, a corner sofa three meters by two and a half, that can be done uh, and actually be delivered within two to three weeks, which is a phenomenally good lead time any day of the week for a, a bespoke sofa. Mm. Um, but we, we do need to get this onto our website, which is taking some time, admittedly, and obviously get this all on a brochure and deliver it to the members, and then everyone can have it out in front of them and, and know what we know what we can actually do and when we're ready for it as well. It opens up endless possibilities. But also, James, that I don't think you use enough of is our Facebook group. When you get all these colours coming up and all these different styles, please put them on our social media and MPG group so members then can see it. I would have said we, we, we are guilty on you know delivering the true message of what we can actually do and achieve. You know, we, we do want to sell ourselves in that respect, absolutely. I, I know you do. You're a nightmare. I mean, we're fortunate enough that... 80% of our customers are repeat customers. So they know, they'll normally just ring up and then we can say, oh, by the way, we've got this. But it's purely down to time and lack of time that we, we've we not got around to updating the website and the, and think, like you say, the uh, Facebook group. But um, I set up a new page around Christmas time with the, the very intention of doing what you've just said. And I think I'll put two posts on there, but we do know so, that that's something we need so to do. So give it to us and we can put it up. Anthony's taking on a new member of staff and we'll help Perfect. you out. We know, we know you, you know that we're there to help. Because yeah. if you give us the information, members are going to like it. Yeah. That's they're not going to like absolutely have different colours, but they'll see that you are changing, you are developing, and yeah. there are different colour schemes as well. And and it's a choice factor, isn't want. it? Sorry, James? If it, given the choice, showing that we can do I mean, we, we, we've probably undoubtedly lost some orders because people don't know we can do things different. Uh, so we really do need to tighten up and get that message across. And uh, I definitely have to go top of the list, really, to get sorted. Yeah, and give it to us, and we'll put it out there for you. You know yeah. that, yeah? Yeah. We've seen you grow. And it's been amazing the journey that we've all been on. Don't you, James? We've been together nearly five years now. Oh yeah, yeah, it would be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Manchester back in the day, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. So take me through the ordering process so that members that haven't used you and have been looking at you thinking, because I, I, again, from my point of view, is that what people will see is who's that? Steve, son, come up on on the. Um, the problem is that. You, because you're like in Manchester, people down south think, oh, am I going to, don't, I don't know what it's like. And I say to members, and I've done this myself, I've been to the showroom, get in the car, drive up there once. Once you've seen it, you know the quality, you know the feel of it. But also, what I was going to ask you, take me through the ordering process. Give people some confidence that people know that I'm sitting in my desk, I'm picking you up, I'm picking the phone up, and I'm meaning you, James. Take me through the ordering process. Well, first of all, like I say, you know, order with confidence because although we'd love people to come to the showroom, yet we do appreciate that not everybody has that luxury. Uh, a lot of people are, you know, are, are doing their property journey alongside a full-time job. So you know, the time is at a premium. So, but historically, um, a lot of people will you know, buy blind, if you call it that. And historically, no one's ever been disappointed uh, when it's arrived. Uh, you know, if anything, people are, you know, overly impressed, saying this is phenomenal, the furniture is great, uh, we, get, we get testimonials all the time and say how good our team was on site, uh, and what a good job they do. Um, but take so, me through the ordering process. I'm, I'm basically, you. Just, just phone us up. Uh, we like to chat to people, as you probably gathered. Um, you know, uh, we, don't, we don't limit the time, we don't rush people off off the phone, we'll, we'll sit and go through their colour schemes. You can send us floor plans as well, and we'll quite happily look at those and talk through what will work, what won't. Lisa will uh, happily give you sort of like a mini, uh, a mini interior design consultation. Uh, just tell us what decor you're working with, we can make a few proposals. We can send samples in the post. Uh, once we've agreed what we're doing, um, you know, we'll obviously send you a quote. Um, it was sent, and then obviously agree to the price, giving you obviously an LNPG discount. And um, we, we place the order, it's delivered sort of seven to ten days later, sometimes quickly as we can. Anthony, do me a favour. Can you put up 
his process. Oh, the point I was trying to get to is people ring you up, they go on the website, they look at what they want to purchase. Yes. I mean, often, often when people call, they're not quite sure what they Thank want. Thank you. So if they ring up and say to me, this is what's going on the floor, this is the colour on the walls, and often that's all we need, and, and or if they've got floor plans, even better. But if, if um, you know, they've got a rough idea, then from that, just because we're doing this day in, day out, it's enough for us to say, you know, nine times out of ten, well, probably 99% of the time we get it right. And if we ever get it wrong and something just doesn't quite fit, we will always straight away, no quibble, just exchange it and bring you something back that does. Um, but, you know, no, normally if you ring up with just those two things, the size of the house, and that's enough for us to be able to give you a quote from that. We'll run through the quote. We can obviously change the quote as many times as you need to till you're happy with it. And then um, we'll send over the final um, a quote. And then if you just, you know, once we've agreed that, we send a final order confirmation over for you to check through. And we agree a delivery date at that time. And then we put that will, at that stage, your, it will go into the diary. And then two days before the order's due to go out, somebody from accounts will call up to take payment. Um, and that can be either through World Pay on our website or by a BAX transfer, or of course, then we've got the lease finance options as well. Brilliant. And also you, the lease finance. So if somebody hasn't got, if they're doing a, like a seven bed, six bed, five bed HMO, you can help them with the color scheme, the design, etc. But also they can do it on lease option as well, not lease option, but lease finance. Yes. Yes, definitely. Great. James, do you want to talk through for yeah, finance? Um, I'll I'll, I'll, um, I'll 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 tell everybody else the lease finance works. Well, lease lease finance we have uh, been offering that service uh, again. I believe we were first to market uh, with with that product as well, and we've been offering it for we've got a good two or three years now. Now, obviously, furniture is um, you know like cars. It, it's it's a depreciating you know product that you, if you can help it, you probably don't really want your your cash tied up in that it's, it's better off uh, you know working for you as an investment rather than than uh, you know spending it on the products which which go down in value now historically when we first started doing it, it was only offered over three years uh, the minimum value was two thousand pounds and uh, you know, the, there was you know the it, it wasn't it, it wasn't that it wasn't very popular it has picked up momentum though recently because i think People are spending a lot more and investing into their HMOs, uh, you know, going to town a little bit more on not just the furniture and the accessories, but also, you know, the refurbishment costs. So if you go in any of the Facebook groups, it's, uh, it's, it's you, you can tell the, the, the quality of, of what people are offering the tenants is it, it, increased year on year. So to keep up, you, you, you do have to obviously spend a bit more. Um, people doing rent to rent. Uh, you know, lease finance, you know, like the, the sort of the no money down uh, philosophy that's, you know, uh, mentioned on training courses, you know, lease finance does really give them a, a, le a leg up in the right direction as well. Now, with lease finance, it can take a, a week or two to, to set up. Um, so in that case, what we can, you can do it retrospectively. You can, you can pay for the product on, on your, your card or via bank transfer. Uh, so say for example you've got a, uh, a six bed hmo with uh, you, you know your bed wardrobe chest and bedside in each room accessories and it, let, let's just say for the purpose of the maths it's coming in at four thousand pounds you put that four thousand pounds on a card or a bank transfer we hold that money once once the lease finance gets paid over to us we refund you so you're only without your cash flow temporarily and that way you don't have to wait for the lease finance to come in. You don't want to wait the two weeks because the, 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 the two weeks can make a difference in, you know, quite a lot of rent, um, getting prospective tenants in and obviously marketing your property as well. Now, the lease finance uh, application, there is some lenders out there that will specialise in new startups because a lot of people, it's their first order. Uh, they have ne they've only just set up their limited company uh, so there is some of the lease finance companies that specialise in startups. 
uh, even people not doing it under their uh, limited company they want it uh, done through themselves and uh, in some cases they can actually defer the lease payments by two or three months which gives you time to tenant the property get your income in before you have to before you have to start your monthly payments which is really helpful okay okay i was just reading some of the questions do you want to yeah. go through some of the questions yeah so just to sort of go over a couple of things first um you mentioned leasing and um uh, a member's put in the in the chat here the more more people are currently buying through limit uh, limited companies so there's tax benefits to that as well uh, and of course uh, not all applicants for the leasing option will be accepted and you know after all it is an application process and it's not just a, a sort of just because you're an LMPG member, you will be accepted. So there's always there's always a, a, a bit of a risk with regards to that. Um, and just finally on the brochures, um, those brochures, and I think a, another one is, are also on the LMPG website as well. So we only flick through them quickly there, but uh, if you did want to have a, have a look uh, in more detail, then by all means head to the Fusion page on the LMPG website. But uh, to go over to some uh, member questions then, uh, do you guys provide a design service um, specifically for sort of interior design of, of these rooms? It, it's not a full design service as such where we go to the property and, and you know, do it in the usual way like I've, I'm used to doing, but uh, just because there, isn't, there, are, there aren't enough hours in the day. But if somebody calls up and they've got floor plans and, um, you know, a rough idea of, what colour is going to be on the floor and the walls then even if well even if they don't know that and they what they're at the, the at the stage before then and they want advice on wallpaper or colours you know I have all the paint charts and stuff with me in the office so I'm happy to to run through all of that um, if it's some I mean we're based in Plumley in Cheshire just off the M6 so I mean, obviously with COVID, we've not been able to do any of this, but there, if there are any sort of properties nearby and we, we can go and visit, then, you know, we will do, but um, we tend to be able to do it, um, you know, from, from paper just because we're so used to doing it. Okay, lovely, thank you. Um, and do you guys have an example of a bedroom cost? So I know you guys do uh, these packs already. Um, so for the sake of argument, let's include divan, mattress, stubble wardrobe, bedside table, chest of drawers, desk and chair. Is that something that comes together already? Are you answering that? <laughs> yeah, no, go on. <laughs> we, we, offer, we offer four packages, um, which a standard pack would be, you know, a bed, wardrobe, chest and a bedside. Um, you yeah, know, that's sort of our st standard pack for a HMO, you know, if you're doing it for students. We offer the, uh, the space saver version, which you can add a desk to. So instead of having a wardrobe, chest and a bedside and a desk, you'd have the wardrobe with the two drawers built in. Don't have your chest, which saves the room footprint. And then you've got your desk there, which has got three little drawers down the side of it anyway. And then you'd have your study chair. And then we can also put, which is really popular, the, the storage bed base with space underneath where tenants uh, can put their suitcases, shoes, a, a, anything they like, really. Uh, and that's really popular. When, when people buy them, they tend to always buy them again. If they say, oh, I'll, I'll try those storage bases this time just to see what the, the tenants think or how they go. It, it's pretty much a given that the, they will be ordered again because obviously space, storage space is... is you know, pretty high up, um, probably up there with high speed broadband is some of the, the end users, the tenants needs, and, and, and even guests in a way, but more tenants, uh, you, you know, uh, needs and wants is it, storage. Uh, and if you've, if you've got, if you've got a small room, uh, you know, we do, we do narrow bed sides, we can do smaller beds. And uh, do even- four, Do you do four foot beds? Yeah, absolutely, four foot beds. We, we can actually do any bed any size. You would do three foot zip link, five foot zip link, six foot zip link, uh, four foot. Um, we, can, we can also, <clears throat> we've also made them with, with lower bases if they're going into a loft. So we, we can tailor them and make them, if you say, I need this bed with the headboard no higher than <clears throat> 85 centimetres, we can do that and, and actually make it within two or three days. 
Uh, just just to stay on the subject of of, of rooms, where a lot of people obviously are converting them because it you know increases your your, your rental return, you know, for, for the investment. Another problem we used to have, which we've we've kind of fixed now, was that the wardrobes would, wouldn't go go where they needed to go because the bed had to go there. So we've actually got uh, a, the standard wardrobe is 190 centimeters high. We do one at 167. And we also do a smaller one, which is 124. So as you can imagine, 124 centimetres isn't very tall, uh, but it actually, at least they get a rail in there. It's somewhere for people to have shirts and trousers and other things. Uh, but it's still a solution at the end of the day. It's better than not having one. Uh, you can only work with what you've got sometimes. Yeah. Just, and to give you an just to give you an idea on price, so for a four bed HMO entry level would be 2199. And then for the next level up, um, like the Solo Plus range, that'd be two three nine nine. So you do packs. You do packs yeah. for like a five bed, a six bed, where all the rooms are done. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And that yeah. price includes. So you do do packs. Yes, and the more you order, the the bigger discount we can offer. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and that's then pre or post LMPG discount because of that. members do get a, a discount off that, don't they? Yes. So you, you get a discount for the package, but then on top of that, once we've got the final price, then we take off the additional 10% for LMPG. Oh, brilliant. I didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I can elaborate on that if I may. Uh, I'll, I'll just run through uh, a basic pack. So if you're doing a six bed HMO, yeah. you, you will get, this is everyone gets, you know, everyone gets a, a, a double bed mattress and headboard. Uh, from our sort of classic range, which is our most popular one that most people go for. Um, and then you will get a, a bedside table, a wardrobe with a mirror as well, and a three drawer chest of drawers. Now that costs you 499 times six, six rooms is 2994 plus VAT. Yeah, okay. Now that figure of 2994 on a six bed HMO is about 30 to 35% off what we'd normally charge as an individual item. Okay. So that package, if you added it up, would come to, you know, in, you know close to 4,000 pounds added up from our individual items. So everybody gets a discount when they buy a package, but LMPG members get a further discount of what's already a discounted package. And it's VAT on a lower figure as well. No, I, we got that one, James. But do I get buttons with it? <laughs> <laughs> no buttons, only butts. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hang you tomorrow, James. <laughs> I'm having a lie tomorrow, Nick. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is supposed to be a professional. Right, we come back on the finance. Yeah, uh, just touch it on briefly. Um, a lot of companies are charged an astronomical startup fees. Yes, for the finance package. Yep. What's your average setup fees? Uh, I mean, with, with the finance packages, obviously the fees are what the finance companies charge. You know, the, the brokers will put on it like a hundred and fifty pound dock fee. What we encourage people to try and do is, is if you can work out roughly how much you're going to spend, you know, we can help you with this on, on on your furniture with what you're going to be doing over the next twelve months. My advice is, is to get a limit with a drawdown facility from a lease finance provider. So rather than applying five times for five times two thousand pounds, you're better off getting a ten thousand pound credit credit limit from them. You've only got one dock fee. If you don't use it, you don't use it. Uh, so that's that's that, that's that, that's a tip. And at least then you know you've you've at least got that much to spend as well. And um with just to give you the basic maths, just say on that six bed HMO, if you're an LMPG member and we put in bed, bedside, you know, basically set up a room for you with the four items bed, bedside, chest, and a, a wardrobe 499 times six, 2994 minus 10%. So you're paying 2694 two, plus VAT. Okay, so for the purpose of the maths, let's call it two, 2700. To work out your lease finance payments, this is a guide by the way, 2.7 times 40 to be conservative 
Uh, we can use 35, but we use 40. Is that will cost you £108 per month over three years. So if you don't want to spend around £3,000 of your, of your working capital, you'd rather pay around £100 a month over three years. It, it, you know, it's the way forward. It's, it's coming out of the, uh, the rental income at the end of each month. Yeah, just to make sure that people understand, that was a just a rough guide. That wasn't a quote, yes, because of <laughs> finance, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was just a ballpark figure. James, I don't want you hanging yourself, you silly git. No, no, I, I like to be people <laughs> a rough idea. Sure, no one out there is wearing a mask waiting to get me. No, no, no. This goes out of Facebook Live. So just want to make sure that is not a quote. Yeah. No, that's certainly not a quote. It's uh, one of those examples that you get when people Thank you so much. Subject <laughs> 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 to state and terms and conditions apply. But Jane, I'm talking about the setting up fee. Is like the 200, 300. I've seen people charge 500 pound setting fees, set up fees. That I you're think, think, that kind of I think historically like. people got away with that, but I don't think, because a lot of lease finance companies have noticed a lot of people want lease finance. They've all got, it's all like it's sort of a, Fight for the business, so they they dock fees and sell fees, and that's really came down. Um, Good, that's what I want to hear. Good, absolutely, that's what so, I want to hear as well. Talking of of setups, and you're you're like this segue, Nick. Do these prices include the setting up of the furniture in the rooms, or is Ooh. it step delivery? Lisa, don't let him answer that. We'll be here all day. Lisa, you answer it. Yes, a hundred percent. So whatever you order. Um, it comes ready assembled and um, the guys will put it into whichever rooms you want it to be um, If you're not there and it's something you've left a key box or something like that or letting agent lets us in and you're not there Then the guys will put it where they think it fits best. But if you have left clear instructions, they'll do that um, They'll set it up if you've ordered dressing packs or artwork anything like that they will make the beds up, they'll hang the artwork, they'll basically do as much as they can with what you've ordered. They take the packaging away, they'll hoover, they'll leave it as tenant ready as they can. That's the point. Yeah, I had a member. Can I, can I add, to, add something to that? No, you can't. Shut <laughs> up. A little bit, come on. <laughs> I had a member that rang me up and said, Nick, shoot me next time. And he re this was about 18 months ago, might have been two years ago. And he said, I, I didn't buy through furniture. I bought some furniture through Fusion and I did another house. He said, I wish I hadn't. I said, why? He said, it took me a week to make the furniture up. Yeah. yeah. And it was from a big, big company. And we all know the name. <laughs> and he said, and all that rubbish, it took me two trips to take what was it, the packaging down to the tip. And all I saved was about 150, I can't remember the figure, 150, 200, yeah. pounds, he said. He said, oh, my God, I wish I hadn't bothered. <laughs> yep. So the moral of that story is you deliver it. They yeah. don't deliver it to the, just to the door. They take it in. They make it up. You don't have any worries. And if something is damaged, if something's a problem, you pick the phone up, and I know this firsthand, is you ring them, and they will sort it out. I remember once that James... Put, it wasn't James's fault, but the company delivered a, a side cabinet that was the different colour. And I think the members listening to this, James, the very next day, got in his car from Manchester, drove his, the new cupboard down to London. Now, that's a commitment. <laughs> yeah. I did call him stupid for doing it, but no. But from the member's point of view, she couldn't believe it. And so that's the kind of service that you, you have got a lot bigger, but it's your service to detail that you've always kept true to. And it's been a delight because there's very little issues that we get uh, members ringing us up. And I and I have a soft touch for you, James, because we started at the beginning, yeah? And we've grown it together. You've grown it together as such. And it's been exciting to see the way you were to where you've gone to. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's a, a really good success story that your business and how it's taken off. So. I'm going to shut up because I'm going to be classed as you, James. Yeah. Anthony, can we go to some more questions, please? Yeah, definitely. And, I, I, you know, I don't want to put too fine a point on it, but that's the reason why you've got 80% retention rates, you know, returning customers. And the reason 
fusion furniture bat so high amongst LMPG suppliers, you know, uh, to be in the same ballpark in terms of figures as Magnet Kitchens, a national supplier that are huge, um, is, is fantastic for a, you know, relatively small-ish, at least used to be, um, furniture company. So it's, it really is the after sales service that sets you guys apart from, from everyone else in the industry. And, and I've got members in the chat that are echoing the same thing. Um, so, so just talking about uh, the after sales a little bit more, um, I've got a member that's saying students are hard on furniture. Uh, what kind of warranty do they get? We, uh, we, we will offer a three uh, manufacturer's warranty on all of our UK made products, which is you know, pretty much 90% of what we supply. The, the, only, the only things we, we can't offer a warranty against is you know, if people buy appliances or a kitchen pack and it's a kettle or a toaster, but the bedroom furniture, the beds, the sofas, the, the coffee tables, the TV stands, pretty much everything that you'd expect to have a warranty on comes with a minimum of three years. Some of our higher end furniture, five years, which it, it truly is no quibble. Uh, you know, sometimes we have problems there. Uh, it might be a little bit of a grey area. What's actually caused? Is it a tenant? Is it a manufacturing defect? We tend to more often than not roll over, and we see we actually see it as as a uh, an exercise that we don't mind doing because it pays dividends itself to look after people that way. Uh, sometimes we get we get to a property. Uh, the sofa won't go where it needs to go. It won't go up the stairs because there's a narrow staircase. We will come back at our expense with a new sofa in two parts and put it where the client wants it. Uh, and not many companies will actually do that without charging. That's just one example of how we go above and beyond. Okay, great. Lisa, can we come back to some of the artwork and you making it very look decorative? Because I'm a man, I haven't got a clue. That's the best bit, the dressing. I love that part. <laughs> or as James calls it, all the faff. So I handle the faff and I love doing that. So if anyone needs any advice or any help with anything like that, then, you know, just if, if you've got, if you just say, this is going to be my wall colour, then I'll choose headboard colours, I'll choose throws, I can choose cushions, anything, any detail like that. So you're helping now people choose use it, going down a colour scheme? Yeah, all the time. So pretty much every, every, well, probably nine out of ten calls, people are ringing up and they'll just say, you know, the floor's grey, the walls are white, what do you, do you suggest? So we can say, do you want the same in every room? Do you want them to look different? Do, we, do you want half and half? And then, um, you know, we'll decide, oh, here's some examples of, um, these are these were sort of limited edition um packs that we were doing again to make them look a bit different where we were introducing um different bedside tables so rather than normally we have everything matching but um we, we were deciding just you know, again in, in a quest to make things look a bit different to add different um, bedside tables okay because what i think you need to do because when people you put your furniture in and you do the different color schemes yeah. might be a good idea for people to start taking pictures yep definitely and, yeah. and to you so that we can put them on our social media page and saying look this is the different kind of color schemes because what perception is reality yeah there's a perception that it's all the same colors fusion furniture is like all one it's not I've just seen th three or four or five things tonight that I didn't even know that you did. Have you got the case studies um, file there, Anthony? If that's there, that's more sort of up-to-date uh, rooms that we've done um, just to show you, you know, an up uh, HMO sort of living area and bedrooms and stuff. But, uh, you know, any colour really, if you, if you, we can go through it together. Um, like the, the, if you look at the middle one there, the, they've gone with grey velvet sofas just to make it a bit more, um, you know, a bit of a nicer feel than the normal chenille. But then we've they've done a pop of colour with the uh, accent chair, and then um, that that customer put the uh, mural on the wall themselves. But that they they actually chose that. But it's um, you know really nice. Yeah, are they buttons on the wall? 
<laughs> and that's a Banksy mural, I think. Not an original. <laughs> oh, I think, yeah, absolutely. You need to do more of this. You need to get it out because when I'm doing presentations, they say, Nick, lovely furniture. I just want something a little bit different. Yeah. You're in that service now. And you need to get that message out, James and Sarah. Yeah. You do, we do. Yeah, we absolutely yeah. do. Yeah. Sarah, I mean, Sarah, Sarah's just come on. They offer bedding packs, kitchen packs, the complete finish. Thank you. She's just given me thumbs up. I've got a text <laughs> here that's just come through on social media yesterday. Said, I've just ordered how great the company is. Can't make it because I'm riding my push bike. Yeah. That's the kind of what we're getting. And he really has. Yeah. He's on his push bike. He wanted me to, to mention that and, and say how good. And he put his order in today. Aww. He put his order in today and he said, what a great <laughs> service. You don't share yeah, that's 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 service. Yeah. You really don't. When I first started at Fusion, I'd say to James, we need a new website. We need this. We need that. And he said, yeah, job number 146. Put it, <laughs> add it to the list. And I, I thought, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on top of this. I'm going to do it all. And literally, the phone does not stop. And we know, we know as a company we need to do all this stuff. And there's just not enough. <laughs> we need more people, which we are in. We are doing. We are taking on more people. But. Yeah. We've and got a lot of expansion that way. We, we, do, we, do need, we do need to expand our workforce just, just to cope. Because as you mentioned the other day, Lisa, when you came in, at the moment, we're, we're peeling nuts. It's just running off the walls. It's relentless. The business is coming in, and, and you know we, ha we have to look after the business we've got that's coming in before we try and get more business because we but don't want to do letdowns. No, but I've got people asking, "Do you do bedding? Why don't <laughs> these people know?" Well, it's on the website. It's just a bad website, and you can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> No, but and Nick, you mentioned earlier on, and I, I think you're dead right. That is exactly what we're here to do. You know, we can absolutely a megaphone to the membership to say, look, they do this, 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 this. You know, I got two or three emails before this webinar even started to say, members walk into a room and they they know it's been fusioned, as they say. You know, they can they can spot everything, and the fact that you've identified and are working on that problem, and you've got all this extra stuff behind the scenes. Um, if if you're too busy to be shouting about it that's fine you know we don't want you to be focusing on that if it's going to affect the service because the service is fantastic we want to be the ones shouting about it so yeah you, you know i'm sort of repeating my point here but we're so glad for you to be here today uh, to tell us about it and to tell the membership about it and um you know finally get get the secret out after after five years of uh, we are, we are of holding back a little bit <laughs> <laughs> just a bit well one thing i will say while we've got everybody here just think of fusion as, as like a one-stop shop so everything that you possibly need because we do have um we have lots of landlords that aren't even in this country or never even see their hmos and they just ring up and say you know same again or six bed hmo want the living and the, and the kitchen areas doing so we have to be able to supply a full kitchen electrical pack down to the teaspoons we have to supply tvs coffee tables lamp tables everything you need for the for the living room um the only things we don't do we don't install cookers and we don't put tvs on the wall but even if we supply appliances like the fridges and things like that and the washing machines we even install them even though you know we've not manufactured them but um and everything that you need for bathrooms and bedrooms we do it all so there's um you know even if we've been asked recently for nespresso machines and <laughs> all sorts if we can get it we'll get it yeah <laughs> and also yeah. Our, from our point of view we supply the cookers <laughs> you will never yeah, because you know we've just tied up with AO. Yes. You need to start using LMPG for that. Right. Well, I've seen your pricing file. We, we actually do. Yeah, we do We do get, we do buy off mode quite a bit, actually, ourselves. Uh, you know, AO is such a good company, and they never let us down. We, 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 we've, we've worked together with AO for many years, to be honest. Oh, their service is great, and it goes yeah, hand in hand with what we're doing. So. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to let people down uh, so we're sometimes relying on third party suppliers in turn not to let us down and they are, they are great so we have, we have to know what with them historically and i just wanted to elaborate on what, what, what lisa was saying about our products 
Uh, more recently, um, a lot of clients want to build specifically specific size wardrobes or they just need some shelving or they want to put a little shelf up instead of a bedside. So if you're ordering furniture from us, we, we can actually give you some spare parts that you can give to your joiner that we can send some edging tape down. So if you're having a full bedroom set of us that want to put some shelves up or make the wardrobe a little bit uh, uh, like, you know, narrower or shallower, we can actually send you the materials down so you can give them to your, to your joiner on site. So at least then when you buy the rest of the furniture from us, it all matches. And it's uh, it just, again, showing that we've prepared to go the extra mile. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, just a couple of questions that have uh, sort of passed me by here. What are your sofas made out of? It can, it can uh, well, there's, there's several different materials. We do a, well, they all come actually now, uh, Crib 5 is standard, which, which is a commercial grade. Since we started selling into the service accommodation sector, it was a bit of a grey area whether they needed to be a commercial fire grade or not. Uh, so we believe it's better to be safe than solid. Uh, they're UK made and we use, the most popular ones are the chenille, Ro the chenille fabric Roma, so on a Roma frame, uh, and that is really popular. We sell probably three or four of those a day. And then we also do what we call hybrid leather, which is, it's sort of like leather in its appearance. It, it is a, you know, a faux leather, but it's not, it doesn't have the same look or feel as the, you know, the cheap ones that you can get in from, you know, those who import from China that really plasticky looking. I mean, our leather sofas, uh, we, we, well, the full leather sofas, I should say, we, we're also putting them in, you know, £1,500 a month apartments in, in Manchester and Birmingham. So, uh, we, you know, we, we do a lot of show homes for a lot of the major house builders and other side of the business, they go in show homes. So, the, these kind of sofas, they're, they're, we put them in HMOs, you know, they, they actually do put the mustard ants up from, from every angle. Okay, lovely, thank you. Um, and testing your memory a little bit here, but you mentioned uh, a classic wardrobe earlier on. Is that uh, with or without drawers? Uh, the, the, the wardrobe from our sort of, what's on our website, it's called the HMO multi package. Uh, the, the wardrobe in with that price comes in uh, a standard without the drawers. If you do want the wardrobe with the drawers, it's about 40, 50 pounds extra. But if you take the wardrobe with the drawers underneath, but don't have the chest of drawers, it's actually about 40, 50 pounds cheaper. Does that make sense? I think that answers the question, yeah. Um, and uh, I've got a member here, um, ordered a fridge freezer from AO. You need to speak to Mo to get the Excel sheet with the LMPG offers. Yeah, that's dead right. It's, it's not AO business. It's a specific contract that we've set up. So we, we spoke to them last week, I think, or maybe the week before. Um, so if you've not seen that already, it's on our Facebook group. Um, and yeah, we've, we're, we're getting great great price and great service from them as well absolutely yeah and we are and i'll talk to you offline james about that as well because we, we can help you on that one okay as we're tied at the hip there's a couple of there's a couple of questions outside this tonight have come up yeah um they've put privately so i won't mention it yeah where you've got that on the some of the questions we'll ring you tomorrow and help you on that it's one person kitchens bathrooms etc we'll give you a private ring tomorrow and we'll help you on that just let member know there. Um, okay. any other I've got another question that's come in uh, privately. Uh, yeah. But it's one for you, James or, or Lisa. Um, do the student chests of drawers come with rounded edges as opposed to square edges, which can easily get snagged? I'll, I'll, I'll take this one, if, if that's okay. Um, our new products are going to come with two mil edging as a general rule of thumb. And you can actually have it in one range it comes with the, the squared edges and in another range it will be rounded so you, you have a choice basically so it, it is a weak spot where they, they, they can't pick can't they in that edge and it, it, mm. is a weak, it is a weak point but yeah if you put it like an mdf top on and round it it does stop, stop that from happening or the temptation at least anyway so was that a yes or a no that's a yes <laughs> you can have it both ways it's a very long yes <laughs> it's laughing <laughs> <laughs> you like to elaborate. I'm not allowed to at home, so I, now's the chance. 
<laughs> James will never use ten words if he can use a hundred. Jesus Christ! I, I didn't even. <laughs> <laughs> oh god james you're a star i was worried out the film 45 minutes Nicky. <laughs> <laughs> i can see members laughing with me that's the oh. killer <laughs> just james. as long as i make everyone laugh we're on the winner <laughs> oh god james don't ever be a politician at question oh, time so Sarah's just put in the chat you should have been a lawyer i think you're dead <laughs> Not a bad one. <laughs> I tell you what, Andy Gold, yeah, from Magnet, yeah, the national sales manager, uh, director, yeah, is watching it. He's just texted me. He said, "I'm still watching this." <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I don't know what to say after that one. <laughs> well, Nick, we're, we're we're coming to you know about a, an hour's worth of the recording now, so I think we're going to have to wrap oh, up we? relatively soon. You usually ask me beforehand if I can remind you about any announcements, but you've not done that. Do we have anything over the over the horizon? What you're asking me that? I'm asking you that question. Well, you know, we've got uh, carpet and flooring next week, and that will be the last one for. And then we're going to break for summer, and then we're going to pick it up in uh, September. And we're mm -hmm. going to carry on doing these if members want this. And one of the things I'd like to see, it's not saying how great, I just want to know, do you want us to continue with these? Because I, I think there's a great, it's a great opportunity to meet the suppliers. I've just got Sarah sticking two thumbs up at me. I'm glad there were two thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> and to help you, because I had another member today I spoke to and he's listening to this. He said, I didn't know you did furniture. I didn't know you did XYZ lighting. Um, so what we'll try to do is we're going to bring all the manufacturers in over the next sort of three months up until Christmas. Thank you for that, Sarah. Um, and also, if there's a subject you want us to talk about or from a partner or whatever, please don't hesitate to ask us because we can put that in. We can bring it in. Please, nobody asked me about how to buy houses though on lease option or anything we're not doing anything that this is just about products there's enough of the experts out there and they do a great great job yeah i don't want to step into that arena it's all about refurbing etc that's and products that's what we want to concentrate on that field is big enough for us to to fill out a whole year so if the answer is yes we'll carry on doing it yeah yeah so i've got a few yes already which is great obviously um it's good to see members making use of it i've had probably five or six suppliers on the phone just this week talking about when can we get on you know when can we get in front of the membership because there's so much value in in meeting people face to face even if it's over the internet and getting that direct feedback and, and the changes that have been made um and improvements that have been made to these suppliers have, have been excellent already so and carpet and flooring anthony um have been monitoring and watching this and they said we want to be part of this the amount hmm. of manufacturers, Worcester, I, I can actually show you Texas, when are we going to do our video? When are we going to do our video? AD, exactly yeah. the same. Magnet saying, oh, when, when are we going to be doing the next one? It's absolutely phenomenal that they actually want to engage. And it's so exciting for us. And it's coming up with new ideas. And, and, and how can we improve our service? And if you look at all the manufacturers, they're all looking now on how they can streamline it, how they can manage it, how they can make it better for the journey of the landlord. Yeah, definitely. It's been absolutely phenomenal. And also we're taking on another member of staff in the coordinate, in membership coordinator to help members. Anthony's so busy, we're taking on another member of staff to help him out, yeah. So we've also, oh, the other big one I forgot to mention, we've moved offices. Yeah, we've moved to a bigger premises and it's really exciting. Um, we're not in Hinkley Town Centre anymore. We're in just off, off just around the corner. We're actually on the marina. Yeah, is it called the marina? Yeah. Yeah, Trinity Marina is. Yeah, Trinity Marina in Hinkley. So, yeah, it's really exciting. So, look, yeah. I could talk for England. I know James can. James, on behalf of LMPG, it's been an absolute pleasure tonight. You've made me laugh. Lisa, it's been a pleasure meeting to you, meeting you. And as soon as we get to back to some kind of normality, maybe I'll come up and uh, we can have a chat and look how we're gonna 
I do like this design stuff that you're mm. doing for members. I'd love to see the showroom, yeah. Yeah, and maybe we can get something out a bit more about that. But give us the information and we'll put it out for you. Okay? Yeah. Perfect. I'd yeah. just like to say thank you so much. Join us next week. We've got flooring and a carpet and flooring. That's going to be a really good one as well. So come and join us and good night and have a safe, safe evening. Bye. Thanks, Looking forward to next week. Yeah. All right. Be good. Bye. 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 Bye.